Killer series, so let's dive right into survival and exploration. I'm curious by it. As you begin your adventure in the world of Enshrouded, you will need to survive in the wilderness amidst the unknown. It looks very Conan Exiles like. It looks very Conan Exiles like. To do so, of. you will need to gather resources such as rocks, plants, and logs, honing your crafting skills to create essential items for your daily endeavors. Your very oh, first task. You have quests. If you look at the top right, you have like quests, which is construct your home, location, reach. So I'm presuming it gives you like kind of like a marker of where you're going to construct your home. But I think probably what I would do is I'd go to it, kind of do it, and then kind of take it down and try and find a better spot, possibly. Unless it gives me a good spot to begin with. Is to establish an altar of the flame. Climb yeah. Your it's got some... It's got some Conan Exiles vibes to it. Because in Conan and Exiles, you have like, kind of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It has religions in it. using, And you have to use altars and etc. And shit. Based on the humble beginnings of your future castle. Well, it starts as a hut. Let's dream big. Venturing into the woodlands okay, to gather logs might seem quite easy at first. You will need to chop down some trees, gather logs, but in the process, you must watch out for the lively wildlife. They won't I want to back up Woodlands to gather second. logs might seem quite easy at first. You will need to chop down some trees, gather logs. I don't like the look of the thingy, because like, if it's logs, they're going to be quite, you know, big. It's a log from a tree, they're going to be quite big. And I feel depending on the tree, there should not be that fucking many logs. Because look, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six piles of what is supposed to be logs for one tree. You know what I mean? But in the process, you must watch out for the lively wildlife. They won't be impressed by your bare fists. The best solution right now is to run away and craft yourself some basic gear. Like a sturdy shield, trusty wooden club, and come back for some action. You can now defeat the wolves. Gather experience, loot resources, Combat and some more feels food. Great, though. Now, it looks building really a good. first basic shelter is the next important step for survival. Use a workbench to craft a construction hammer and some building blocks. If you want to learn more about building and terraforming and enshrouded, you can check out the video available in the top right corner of your screen. Yeah, this this definitely feels like this definitely feels like it's called enshrouded boxing. Um. This definitely feels like it's uh, Conan Exiles like. Or find the link in the description if down it below. Looks like it as as well, we finish the construction of a very first cozy hut, in order to rest, we must make sure to the build, craft I mean. a hmm, not so comfy bed from the workbench. You can place it inside, and after a hard days of work, a good night's sleep is in order. This will give you a rested buff. Now, the real adventure begins. Your first quest, finding the blacksmith. There is a bridge that would get us to the vault where we might find the blacksmith, but unfortunately it's been destroyed, so we need to go through the fog in order to reach the other side. The shroud has engulfed all of the world and we only have limited time to survive within it until we die, so we have to resurface quickly enough before our time runs out. The remaining time can be seen on the new hot element below our compass. As you are in the shroud, Keep an eye on the timer. Your protection against the fog won't last forever. Find the hourglass capsules to extend your exploration time and discover secrets hidden within the shroud. As we Can approach I, I our really quest location, like stealth is your ally when approaching enemy camps. You may take a different approach at first, but remember, one of the best ways is to sneak around, avoid detection, and surprise your enemies with an attack from behind for extra damage. The thing is, if you stealth in someone, you're not going to go like that with a massive club, are you? So how can you stealth with a club? You've conquered your opponent, surely someone would hear it. and gained experience. Our next step is to unlock the secrets of the ancient vault. And as a reward, we will be able to set the blacksmith free to join our ranks. We can now teleport it, back. It looks more like Conan Exiles than anything. That's the vibe I get from it. To be fair, Rusty, why well, I'm boxing as well, but. I get proper Conan Exiles yeah, cozy vibes home by this. using the map and fast travel. Mainly. After we teleport, it would be the perfect time to expand our house and make sure we have enough space for our NPCs and crafting stations. Now, we have to make sure to give the blacksmith a sheltered spot. By giving a roof over your blacksmith's head, you oh, will be able to unlock well. more crafting recipes. 
Now, yes. let's upgrade the armor. Get to One of the very first different. armors that you will be able to unlock is the very fashionable fur armor. Let's go into the woods for some hunting. Hunting becomes an exhilarating challenge. Nothing screams adventure like wielding a bow. Sneak up on the speedy animals and aim for the head for the critical shots. As you kill the wildlife, you will be able to collect necessary resources, such as animal fur, raw food and bones. Now, we need to find or craft a campfire to unleash our culinary nice. skills and cook up a feast of delicious foods. When you cook food, you have to be careful not to overcook it, otherwise you will be eating charcoal for days, which I can't imagine is good for you. This is just a basic way to prepare food while you're out on adventures. Just you will be able to cook more advanced okay. recipes at home. Now, the perks. Check your status tab. But they said very fashionable. What is that? They said very fashionable. What is that? Though physical resistance of 54 for the armor is doesn't seem bad for starting armor. Act your menu to see what effects different types of food have on you. You can also see if you are well rested or if there are any negative effects such as being cold or poisoned, for example. Our next quest is to explore the elixir well. Let's use our glider to get there quickly. Now, as you've been leveling up through the game, you will be unlocking skill points to customize your character as you please. No restrictions here. Mix and match classes and dive into endless fun and remember, you can respect later, so feel free to experiment. Let's start I with an like evasion rusty. attack. Combining a glider approach towards your enemies with an evasion attack can be extremely helpful with not losing any momentum. This will let you unleash a devastating attack upon landing. As an example, you can take a high position by one of the elixir's walls, scout around to see where the enemies are, and once you are ready, drop in on them to unleash a devastating attack. Wow! On the approach of the well entrance, those mysterious return beacons are your saving grace. Replenish your time in the shroud and revive next to one if the worst happens. Let's climb down and explore the depths of the elixir well. With bravery and skill, you will face a door. The stamina looks stinky. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Something boss in the well. To do that, you can use different weapons such as swords, also boxes, and for ranged combat, that's bows, unnamed at this gameplay, anyway. staffs, and wands. Remember, mixing and matching any weapon is possible. This is bosses. As you defeat cool. the boss, a legendary axe, hammer, or sword awaits you, enabling you to destroy the shroud root. This means that the fog will go away temporarily, but will reappear again so that if the players from your party want to do the quest again, they can. Back at home, we can focus again on crafting and mastering. With more experience and materials, we can now unlock a forge and charcoal kiln. First of all, let's start with a charcoal kiln. I really kiln. want it. I really want this You will need game. coal in order to start producing metal sheets at the I forge. I really, really want this game. Now, let's set up the forge to it craft metal really sheets, cool. which will allow you to <clears> unlock a new set of tools and new armor. So, prepare yourself. More exhilarating quests and adventures await you in the mysterious world of Enshrouded. Thank you for watching. Once again, you can wishlist Enshrouded now on Steam. To be up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as comment in the section down below. Wow.